98% of all the information in a store like this is purely visual. What retailers have to do is find ways to appeal to consumers at a deep, emotional, subconscious level. And smells and sounds and flavours and things to touch are what really do that. On a typical Friday, this store sells £35.18 worth of their own brand sausages. Can Simon work his magic to double their takings? So this is Bert. Bert's our butcher. He's helping us with our sausage promotion, a multi-sensory sausage promotion today. First, a visual display as soon as the customer enters the store. A model of a butcher to suggest a certain expertise in that department. There's nothing like the smell of sizzling sausages. Simon's also created an olfactory cue at the entrance to the store. The synthetic smell of frying sausages is being pumped into the air with a diffuser. More visual cues next as a series of arrows direct the shopper towards the back of the store to our tasting stand. It's interesting, local sausage. Which is giving out free samples of the sausages. You've got the ability to actually taste and touch the packs. So we're bringing in all those senses to make it a completely immersive experience. So let's see how the customers reacted to the steers towards the snags. There's nothing like the smell of sizzling sausages. It seems our butcher is a hit. The recipe cards are flying off the stand. The smell of sausages is also doing its job. The floor arrows are drawing shoppers towards our tasting stand. Can I attempt to try some sausage? Free samples right next to stacks of sausages for sale. Thank you. Good. No worries. Enjoy. By giving the customer something for free, the principle of reciprocation kicks in. That's lovely. Consumer psychologists have proved that if people feel they're getting something for free, human nature makes them feel obliged to buy. When people actually pick up a product, they're already 50% of the way in towards purchasing because we actually start to multiply the emotional connection. These are these, are they? Yeah, uh, yeah that's those, yes. Yeah. You're much, much more likely to buy a product once you've picked it up and especially once you've tasted it. The reason I bought them was because they uh, obviously smelt good and uh, they tasted good. As the store closes, manager Adam heads over to the fridges to see if Simon's multi-sensory marketing was a hit. Just from looking at the counter alone, I know I've sold double, at least double what I'd normally sell, sausage-wise, which is, which is obviously good for a retailer. Today, they've made £125.93. That's a sales increase of nearly 400%. So next time you do your weekly shop, be wary of following your nose.